grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Okay, I am back. It is July 25th of 2017. It is 11.35 a.m. Central Time. I'm going right into the next stream, but I'm going to begin with the same scripture as the other um, because uh, that was put on my spirit this morning to do. He gave me that scripture uh, even after I had already typed out what I was going to do, uh, which dreams I was being uh, led to deliver this day. I'm going to read Jeremiah 29, 8 through 9. I'm going to read that in a couple of versions. First King James Version. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets or your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams, pay attention, neither hearken to your dreams, which he caused to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, said the Lord. I'm going to read that again. And, uh, oh, I read that first in New International Version. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. Do not let the prophets and the diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. That's the translation of it. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. I'm going to give you this in the next scripture he gave me. It's because we have to be aware that you can cause dreams to be dreamed because you're anxious to know or you're unsure. It's various things that can cause you to dream dream. And pressure you put on other people can cause them to dream up if they're not strong and if they don't understand. They can be caused to dream a dream. People that get them all the time, the Lord may not give them nothing in a minute. But other people who are used to hearing from them, where have you been? I haven't heard a message from you. I've gotten it. I'm like, I haven't had nothing to deliver. If the Lord don't give me nothing, y'all not going to see me. Whether it's a message or a dream, he gave it to me. And if he has not given me one, because because I get messy dreams all the time, I'm like, no, that definitely ain't the Lord. It's just too much chaos and toil. It's just certain things I don't even need to have to go to him. It's just not him. Because it, it, it's contrary to everything he is and everything his word says. You can cause people to dream. I'm going to give the example as I did on the last video. It's the same as if a prophet is prophesying. He can, the, the Holy Spirit will come up on you. But when he releases you, he's done. And if they're saying, you know, can you tell me, I didn't get one, could you give me something, and you try to sum it up, do not think he can't still be accurate, because a, 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 a demonic force can come up on him, and he will prophesy accurately, but it is the source in which it has come from that makes it wicked. So when the Holy Spirit is done, you're done, because at that point, you give an access to a wicked spirit who will prophesy. It ain't from the Lord. He may say something accurate, still not from the Lord. And the same thing is with your dreams. You can cause them to be dreams and you can cause other people to dream them if they're not strong in the Lord to know I speak when he say speak. And when he's not giving nothing, I have nothing to say. That's what it is. And then he took me down to another scripture. Um, he had me go get these because I did not have these yesterday when I finished preparing these notes. Numbers 12 and 6. He said, listen to my words. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions I speak to them in dreams. Okay? Numbers 12 and 6. I'm doing it in King James Version. And he said, hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known to him in a vision. And I will speak unto him in dreams. So he speaks to us in visions and dreams. He makes himself known to us. He came to me in a dream. He drew me up before him into heaven. He came to me in a dream. Uh, too many times to count. But... He does give you dreams and visions, and he makes himself known to you in dreams and visions. So we have to stay before the Lord, because just like the Lord gives them, we can be caused to have them by various things we expose ourselves to, and from pressure from other people. And then when you try to move on in it, you can get a wicked spirit at that point, a spirit of divination, who you will prophesy things that are correct. And that's what fools many people, along with psychics. It's the source in which that comes from, and the end of it is death. And so I'm leading in with that on each one because that's what the Lord has put on my heart to do. Now, I'm going to go to the next dream uh, that I need to deliver that I had a little while ago, but I have to deliver it now. Uh, I had this dream on April the 11th of 2016, and I just entitled it, What I Saw, Subterranean Volcanic Threat Hidden from the People. It's a subterranean volcano threat that is hidden 
okay? There's a danger that they know about, okay? Uh, in this dream, there was chaos going on everywhere. Chaos, that there's a word all the time. I was being moved from scene to scene, and I mean a lot of scenes. I was being flashed. People were running on land. I don't know if they were running from tsunamis, earthquakes, but it was just a hot mess. And then I was shown, and that's what made me draw this conclusion, is that all this chaos happened suddenly, and then I was moved to what possibly could be the source of the chaos I saw. Only the Lord knows. What I was shown is that there is a subterranean volcano threat. Subterranean. Now, this particular volcano I saw was in the water, but we know we got subterranean volcanoes in the ground, okay? But I saw this one in the water. I saw it in the water. And we know that Yellowstone is, uh, that's subterranean. And it's not the only one we got uh, that's underground. And I had this uh, April 11, 2016. But this one I saw in the water. This was in the water. And I don't know if all the running of the people on land was because of the ones on land. I don't know. I'm only reporting what I was shown. And 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 I will only interpret when he gives, because sometimes he gives me, uh, he speaks to me while I'm, literally while I'm delivering it, and I get understanding on what he was showing me. Um, okay, it was volcano underground, and I put ore underwater. I still saw one in water, and I saw people running around on land, so I put underground or underwater, but I saw one underwater. In the dream, I was shown that there was a discussion and arguments on whether or not to tell the people. According to this dream, they did not. In this dream, according to what I saw, the decision had been made not to tell the people. Okay? One of the people, and there was a great eruption. It was a great eruption. And it was great destruction and death. And it caused floods in some places. It caused ice to melt. It caused toxic mudslides. It made toxic. It was something I got in my spirit. They were toxic mudslides. Because I know that we know volcanoes carry a lot of gases. Um, and that they can be toxic mudslides from volcano eruptions as well as pyroplastic flow. Um, but I saw toxic mudslides, tsunamis, floods. Um, it was a subterranean volcano threat. And the moment it went off and I saw this is when I opened my eyes. I mean, I was flash seen. You know, if you've ever seen, you'll go seen and you're watching for a while and seen and you're watching for a while. And then right at the end, it could be flash, 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 eyes open. And I just describe what I see the best of my ability. I'm going to read Psalms 104.32. The glory of God, let it last forever. Let God enjoy his creation. Let God enjoy his creation. He takes one look at the earth and it triggers an earthquake. He said he's going to visit an earthquake, vapors, and fire, and uh, smoke. He points a finger at the mountain and the volcanoes erupt, okay? And then I'm just going to read Acts 19, uh, 2, 19 through 21, but I'm going to read it in the message version. That's when Peter stood up. Oh, no, I don't need to go all that. Stood up talking about, you know, these people ain't drunk. He talked about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the last day, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon every kind of people, every kind of people. Your sons, your sons will prophesy also your daughters. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. When the time comes, I will pour out my spirit on those who are, who serve me, men and women both. And they shall prophesy. And I've said before, that is to foretell and to tell forth. That's to boldly declare the word of the Lord, the thing he gives you, whether it's a ministry message, or to foretell what's about to happen. To tell, to tell forth and to foretell is to prophesy. I'll set wonders in the sky above and signs in the earth below and fire and billowing smoke. The sun turning black and the moon blood red before the day of the Lord arrives. Before the day of the Lord arrives. Ooh, I just got something, but... Uh -huh. The day, <laughs> the day tremendous and marvelous and whosoever calls out for help to me, God will save. Whoever calls out for help, he will save you. The time is now to be crying out for help. If you do not belong to the Lord, you need to get before him. Don't be worried about being popular because these people go, you going to stand before the Lord all by yourself. Your mother, your father can't intercede for you. You will stand before him having given account for every opportunity to just believe the love of the truth that you might be saved. Take this dream before the Lord as always. Um, I'm with you guys in prayer. Keep me in prayer because it's about to get bumpy. But yes, our Lord and Savior is coming. The glorious kingdom of God is at hand. He's coming. Rapture. He's coming. Stay tuned for the next video. It's hot behind this one. God bless you and I love you all. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. 
We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.